Hey friends and welcome back to your girl Brittany and I am here to do some swap reveals of a swap that I hosted with my patrons over on my Patreon, BB's Crafty Peeps. And for this swap, we were to do a fall inspired tag flip. The tags um, couldn't be no smaller than 3 by 5 They had to have at least four tags, make sure that they're all nicely and decorated. They could add extras in between if they like, but just make it fall. Fall is my love. Absolutely love it. And we're going to do this video starting off with Shanita, who was planned to play over on the gram. And then you have Tiffany, who is Tiffany crafting like a boss McGill here on the tube. And then we also have Joaquina, and you can find her at WB1202204. I'll have it linked down below. <laughs> Crafts on Instagram. And so we're going to go ahead and dig right in. All right, so this is the one from Akina, and she is WB1206 over or WB1206 Crafts over on Instagram, and this is how her swap comes. Absolutely cute. I love this uh, ribbon that she used to cover it up. All right, and it looks like she altered a brown paper bag. Love doing um, loaded bags. And it says, hello, beautiful, gorgeous fall. Yes, yes. I just wish the weather felt the same way. But um, I want to say this is Hello Autumn. I think the collection, uh, remotely close. And then she has this beautiful um, crocheted flower here with a little gem on the outside. And then inside... She has gifted some sequins. Oh, bless you. And they're beautiful fall colors. So you have the silver, you have the gold, copper, you have like the yellow, orange, brown. So pretty. So thank you so much for that. And I'm so excited to see your tag flip. How cute that is. Oh, I love it. And then she added some ribbon on. Oh, no. That's okay, I will go ahead and I will fix that. But um, she added some really pretty ribbon here on the um, binder ring, so super cute. And then she added a brown tassel. She has this little clear bead here. And then this originally was hanging out. Look, look, your girl is always well prepared. Boom, boom, there we go cute little like farmhouse type thing there so super cute and so her first tag it says hello she has it popped up on dimension and it says fall down below the cute little flower has the hello die cut with the leaf background pumpkins in the background there also adorable and here it says pumpkin spice live she has the little coffee cup with the flower the pumpkins and a little jemmy she also added eyelets onto her tags and then oh yeah there was questions they had to answer um do -do 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 -do. I have to remember what the questions are <laughs> but the answer to the first question is I love the color changes of the leaves oh yeah it is um what is your favorite thing about fall uh she loves the color changes of the leaves wearing sweaters and pumpkin spice yes girl and then for um, question two was, what is a craft that you ultimately just cannot, like, you tried and you just, was, it's just, you know, takes over and just, I don't know. <laughs> and she says, wire wrapping beads is my nemesis, girl. See, I don't have a problem with wire wrapping beads, but I get a hand cramp and I ain't got time for that. So, and then her next tag, oh, so cute, says bonfires, but vibes fall is fun has the cute little truck here popped up all dimensions she added some stretch cording she did a little cluster of sequins and added a gem and then this one was what was a career that you wanted to be growing up but you are not doing <laughs> and uh, she wanted to be a lawyer or a writer and she is neither <laughs> and then for her last tag here she uh, has where it says collect beautiful moments. She has a really fun doily in the background. Flower, cl ugh, flower cluster. She added some gemmies and really pretty, pretty paper that she used there. And then 
for question four was what do you, what kind of a crafter do you consider yourself to be and she says i think i am a clean and simple crafter which you are and there's nothing wrong with that and then look oh this is a cute little pocket that she made it says hello fall and you know i love my gingham little gingham flower here with some buttons and you know i love me some buttons is there some there is something in there Ooh. And she's added some bow die cuts. So sweet of you. Thank you so much. This is so super cute. You did an amazing job. Love the answers to all the questions. Love your tag clip. Guys, make sure you go check out Lakina at WB1206Crafts on Instagram. Next one up, we have Shanita, and she is planned to play over on the gram. And this is how her super cute swap comes. Um, this wasn't originally, I don't think I made it as perfect as what she originally had. But um, it started to unravel as I was taking things out of the package. So I had to try to tie it back up and make it look cute in the opening of the video. But uh, she has this wooden veneer piece that says, Hello Autumn. Really pretty ribbon that she used to tie on the outside. We're going to go ahead and unwrap this bad boy and see what so she So this made. is the one she made for me. And I am so in love with your little rosette confettis. I will take it. <laughs> absolutely love it and then she has um all of the fall inspired confetti pieces so like the pumpkin and leaves so cute and i love this shiny um shred and i'm gonna keep it on the desk to make everything look pretty yes and then here is her gorgeous tag flip here she has um, a little ribbon tassel here and she has another little tassel she added a pink bow and she has a couple little beads on there and she also has a half a heart is it no it's a leaf it looks like a half a heart from behind <laughs> but so adorable i love it when you guys add things to the binder rings and so for her top piece here, she, it says, I love fall, most of all, with the little flower stickers and the pumpkin. Did she answer questions on this one? No, okay. And then she's also gifted a delicious uh, fall mix. Look at these gorgeous colors. Oh, I love it. And the little, little leaves. Why are you guys getting those? Gosh, I need that. And then she has the square pieces. She has that annoying tube confetti but it looks pretty in this mix <laughs> i told you two confetti is a uh, glitter's cousin you know it gets everywhere and you can't get rid of it but this is such a pretty mix thank you so much for that and then here's her next tag love the layering she has an ephemera piece on the background she did some die cutting she has some little stickers from the collection she used little squirrel with the apple bushel basket pretty little gems there and it says apple of my eye with some enamel dots and she also used eyelets on her um tags and oop, got a little stuck there okay and so for her is what is your favorite part about fall and she says cool breeze changing colors and her birthday's november 16th loot loot sweaters the hoodies and crock pot meals yes chili season is on the way my friend i love it i only cook it during the colder temperatures and i'm excited for it <laughs> and um this is her next tag it's so super cute i really love this die cut that you put in the background really pretty and then she also added a frame it looks like she used it a um really pretty printed and vellum piece it says sweaters all the pumpkins and then crisp air with the little pumpkins and boots so stinking cute and then here and i love that she did an embossing folder how pretty oh i didn't even know she did on this look at this pretty leaf one Oh, those are so cute. I need to get into using my embossing folders more. And Okay, and so the next one is styling craft technique that you just can't seem to master or frustrates the crap out of you. That is literally how I... <laughs> <laughs> I asked the question because you guys know me and she says card making frustrate me yes but once I get my groove it is fun I continue to work on Copic and alcohol marker coloring I think I do okay but I really want to work on depth making it look like it sits off the paper yes I love coloring um it's always been one of my things and so I am not like the perfect colorist but I do pretty well I think I'm gonna toot my own horn a little if no one else will and here is her next gorgeous tag here again really really pretty leaf die cups 
cuts. She has a scallop circle in the background. She has this pretty gold thread. Loving these jemmies that you put on here. The chuck, red chuck full of pumpkins on the back. And it says fall. And then for the next question here is what's a career that you wanted when you were a kid but you weren't doing she wanted to be a veterinarian then they told her that she had to work on reptiles which was a hard pass <laughs> then she wanted to be a teacher which she was on track for but behavioral science won and now she's a therapist that specializes in behavioral health and shows with mental health you know what kudos to you we need more people like you around and um if you want to you can try to analyze my 13 going on 14 year old daughter anytime <laughs> and then again with this really pretty embossing that she did uh and it's like the little tree trunks there oh so pretty and then look at this one. Oh, and she made it into a shaker i love it she has this really pretty frame here it says grateful on the top delicious mix inside of there and then she has um we're going to assume it's apple pie i'm not gonna let you guys tell me otherwise all right and this is a cute little puffed up pumpkin and then for the last question is how do you define yourself as a crafter she says clean and simple with some flair i don't know i just love being creative of hey you know what do you boo and i'm out for it and look at this really pretty embossing folder that she used there with those leaves girl you got me you need, i gotta get into my embossing folders and then she also included another little fun goodie which is from the paper studio from hobby lobby these little teeny tiny tassels oh i love it and it goes perfectly with the fall theme and colors overall amazing job guys make sure you go show your love to shanita at plan to play and finishing off this video, we have Tiffany, who is Tiffany Crafting Like a Boss McGill. You can find her here on YouTube or Crafting Like a Boss over on the gram. And this is how her swap comes. This girl and her boxes and everything. She she is something else. And this is how her swap comes. Look at the cute little gnome. Ah, I love it. I love gnomes so much. And I am so in love with this zip bag. I'm not sure if you got this from the Dollar Tree. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in like a month. I know. So, um, yeah, because work has taken over my life. And I I don't know what anything is there. I, I honestly don't know. But this is so cute. She has the information on the swap. And it's on a, like a little ticket die cut. And then she has a cute little mug that says, Hey, Pumpkin. And oh, so cute. And she is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, I'm sure she will have her info somewhere on this swap. Because that is what she does. And we're going to take a closer look. Alright, so this is what Tiffany made. And I just really wanted to show this off. Because it's so cute. I love it. And she does have a tutorial on making this box. It says, Autumn is calling. It says, Plenty. And then again, all of her 40 million places that you can find her. She is Tiffany Crafting Like a Boss McGill here on YouTube. And like I said, she is Crafting Like a Boss uh, over on Instagram. Also, you can find her on Coffee Cake and Crafting on Facebook. Where she also does host swaps and is very beginner friendly. So if you have never host, if you have never participated in a group swap before, that is the place to go. And then you can also find her on Facebook with tea scones and Stampin' Up. So that is where she shares most of her Stampin' Up information. So you can go ahead and shop through her and give her kudo points. And then there is her website for Stampin' Up. I told you all her 40 million places that you can find her. And that's okay because you know what there's 40 million places that you guys can find me all right those links are down below in the description box but inside she has gifted Lana lakes cocoa and this is a caramel and chocolate cocoa mix never have i ever but i'm gonna give it a try because it looks and sounds delicious super excited for that thank you so much and then she has this like little lipstick holder how cute and she added the stickers on there added some um little stickles there and the toughest ribbon in the world and inside we have ooh ooh this is avon do kiss it's lip do ooh Ooh, I'm excited. I, I love me chapsticks. I'm not really into flavors. I like I just want something that's going to moisturize and keep my lips looking 
perfect all day and then on to the star of the show she also had some fun little leaf confetti pieces in her packaging so it added onto my desk of galore and look at this gorgeous and she added this really pretty cute tool bow on there with a little acorn dangling oh, i love it and she did hers in a shape yes it says happy fall nomi and it she she has really gotten into jaded blossoms like dyes and everything like their gnomes and everything and that girl has been killing it for someone who doesn't even like to die cut she has been killing it and um it says happy fall nomi she added some little leaf stamps we have this tree stump with the cutest little mushrooms oh my gosh i love it and she even stickled those how cute is that? And then she even added some glossy accents to the lid of the coffee cup. This is amazing. And then we flip her over. Uh, uh, flippity flip flip. And then her favorite part of fall is that she loves everything autumn. The cooler weather and the leaves changing colors are her most favorite. And she also loves Thanksgiving and all of the delicious food is right around the corner. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you know how you get like so excited and it's like, yes, I'm ready to eat. And then you put everything on your plate and you can't even finish your plate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm that girl. But uh, I'm so excited for that. And then look at this. See, didn't I tell you about the gnomes? Yes, this is too stinking cute. It says nutty for you. And then she has a little acorn um, holding, the gnome is holding the acorn. Cute little leaves, like um, the no just jumping around a pile of leaves he's got some stuck in his hat like this is just too cute and then she has she has the little stickle pieces on there and you flip her over and it says annoying crafting technique oh <laughs> she loves the look of layering and clusters but she just can't see the hang of it it takes her entirely too long to do one cluster she's not lying because she overthinks it and like because you can see that she can manage doing it but because she's thinking too hard about it you know and um that's why she's just like i don't want to but she does an amazing job you know so kudos to you my friend and then look at this one so cute and i love the shape of the little banner that you use it says you're the pumpkin spice to my latte yes and she did some ink in her around the little mug it has the whipped cream there with the fun little pumpkin she also did some wink Stella to it so stinking cute and then we flip her over and her childhood career she wanted to be a librarian and a cheerleader for the diamondbacks <laughs> then she realized that she has zero rhythm and she doesn't like baseball as far as the librarian she's not sure why she even <laughs> went with that <laughs> oh, probably because it's peace and quiet because you know libraries are supposed to be quiet But they're not that quiet, my friend. <laughs> and then for her last one, she did the fishtail banner. I have to say that this is probably my favorite one. This has to be my favorite one. I love it. She says, hello, pumpkin on there. She has all the leaf confettis. I'm not even exactly sure if they're supposed to be on there. Because I keep tugging on them because I'm thinking that the pieces fell off. But then it's like some places I think they're supposed to be out there. So I'm trying not to mess with them. I'm trying to be delicate. And then it says pumpkin kisses on the little truck that she did all those little teeny tiny paper piecing. And I will never do that. And she has some glossy accented pumpkin with cute little swirls there oh absolutely love it yeah this has to be my favorite one i just love it and then for this one she defines herself as a crafter she's clean and simple minimalist crafter right now she's going back to the love of card making and her new love is box making she's always loved box making she just forgot about it and kind of put it on pause just to put it out there but um she is she is does amazing work and then here is her card so again coffee cake and crafting and tiffany crafting like a boss mcgill here on the tube and she says thank you for your support yes thank you and then again you can find her in all her 40 million places so you will never get lost of finding tiffany so thank you so much ladies for your participation everything has been so amazing i do have a second video of some reveals 
for this fall tag flip. Um, I want to give a big kudos to everyone who's participated. Make sure you guys go check out Tiffany at Tiffany Crafting Like a Boss McGill. But then while you're at it, go over on the gram and say what's up to Shanita at Plan to Play. And don't forget to say hey, girl, to Joaquina over at WB1206 Crafts on the gram. Thanks so much for tuning into this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll check you out in the next one. Bye.